nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every We're going to do a little snowstorm room update. I'm going to be redoing my laundry room because we're going to be stuck in the house for a few days. So we ran to Lowe's and Hobby Lobby to get a few items. First, we'll start down here. I got this cute plant stand. I got this sign to go on the wall. And this one. And I got this sign to go above the door frame in there. I got these hooks that will go on the wall like this and I will hang my brooms on them. These are the cabinet pools that I will be using. I got this at an antique store about eight years ago. I'm gonna clean it up and put laundry pods in that. This is the light fixture I bought on Amazon. And then I got some cabinet paint. I don't have a lot of wall space in my laundry room for storage, so we picked up this shelf from Hobby Lobby. I have a few more items that haven't been delivered yet due to the weather. So I have two of these glass jars that I'm going to be putting scent boosters in. I will be putting these scoops in the glass jars with the scent boosters. They are gold to match the hardware. The last thing I ordered was this slim utility cart to put between the washer and the dryer because I don't have the most storage in here. Here's a little overview of the room. Right now we have this green color in here. We have a sign up there, a sign up there. Both of those are going to be coming down. I bought this sign, I'm gonna put this back up. We have this thing that hangs clothes when they're drying. This will stay. And then we have this folding table that we made. That will stay. All the cabinets will be white. Eventually, these doors will be black. The rest of the trim will be white. These will be white. And then those gold hangers that I showed you will be here to hang the brooms. And then I got a little row of hooks but I left those in the car and it's too cold to go get them. I forgot that we also purchased some floor pop tiles to cover this floor. It does not look nearly as yellow in person but I picked it out 10 years ago. It's been great for 10 years but it's just time for a change so I picked up some of those tiles at Hobby Lobby and for about $50, I will be able to change the flooring in here and it will just give the space such a different look. The lighting is terrible in here, but this is the paint I'm going to be using. And this is the color. I'm not sure if this is a Magnolia Homes color because my friend gave this to me. She painted her bathroom in this color and had half a gallon left. And she offered it to me and I just thought it was so pretty. Okay, the walls are cleared and I did some test patches. It looks kind of gray right now, but we're gonna change the light bulb to a brighter light that's not so yellow. Next thing is to paint all of the walls. I've patched them. I taped off the 
the top of the table but not the bottom because nobody will see it. Our laundry basket will butt up to the bottom of that. I was also trying to find a way to cut corners because it was already so late and I was exhausted. We are running out of sunlight. It's not necessary for these guys to know all about. Look, there's a booze right here. One or a few on there. Man, did you see me though? Cause the short foot on the show. I'm dancing on the tables and I must say I got It was this exact moment I was regretting doing all of this with just a paintbrush. Our walls have orange peel texture, so I had to stop and make sure I got the paint in all of the cracks. It was not fun. As you can see, I missed several spots when I was painting, so I had to use the flashlight on my phone to make sure that I got them all. I am most definitely using a roller next time. Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside. Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. trying to use up all of the paint out of my cup. I did not want to move the appliances by myself and it was so late. I was counting down the minutes until I could get in bed. It is one o'clock in the morning. I have finished this top. I still don't know what the point of this section is. It's in our laundry room and both of our bathrooms, but we're gonna put decorations up there. I finished this, that part. I finished part of this. Tomorrow I'll move the washer and dryer out. I'm about to finish up this section right here and then call it a night. And we used to have a curtain on up here because this door's not always been here. Um, and it really mm. damaged this cabinet. So I'm gonna sand this down and put some wood filler on there and then tomorrow we're gonna sand these down and do the first coat of paint. So I have made a mess. I have paint all over the floor. It has been a few days since I started this, it started snowing even worse. And so we just took the time to snuggle up under blankets. Um, I'm taking this down currently and I'm going to replace it with a shelf. This is currently what we are working with. This is day two, I believe. This is the bracket that I bought. It will hold the shelf and then it will hold a pole so we can hang our clothes on it. I 
needed some help getting the brackets on the wall and making sure I got them into a stud. And then I came in and took all the glory and put the shelf on the brackets. My husband was standing behind me asking if I was going to take all of credit. And yes, yes I am. It will kill me when you leave and close my shelf from Hobby Lobby. I could only find one stud so I had to use an anchor. It makes me so nervous putting holes in my walls. Also, I use a yardstick for everything. I have three in my house because tape measures go missing all the time. This is me realizing that the stud spacing was not in my favor. I was determined to be able to put this in a stud and it did not work out. To explain how you make me feel inside, baby. Got it all figured out. Wanna do this right? There's a doubt in my mind, baby. I'm doing things a little backwards by putting the decorations up before the room is done but the paint was dry and I needed to get everything out of the way before we move the washer and the dryer with the weather how it is deliveries are being delayed but these came in today and i got these glass jars for our scent boosters we have these for baby's laundry and these for our laundry Okay, I'm doing one more check-in for the evening. I have hung up the decor, the shelves. I hung up these little gold hooks for the broom and the mop. So I'm going to clean this trim and paint it white tonight and then touch up the trim here. And then that's all I'm going to be doing for laundry room day two. So this is day three. I have done a second coat of paint on the doors and I'm just going to let them dry for about 12 hours. I've started painting the trim. There are some more doors drying out here and then I will show you what I've done in the laundry room. It's currently 11.54. The reason this is taking so long is because I'm having to work on it when everyone is asleep. So let me show you what I've done in here. So everything is a mess in here and I still haven't finished painting the walls, but I did go ahead and sand off the finish and then I wiped everything down with alcohol and I'm about to start the primer coat so that I can paint the actual paint in the morning. The first coat is on. It is now 12.30 and I'm going to bed. So tomorrow we will put the first coat of cabinet paint on and hopefully we will have this done in just a few days. 
Today we finally got out of the house and we're in a few errands. We went to at home, so I'm going to show you some things that we picked up for the laundry room makeover and some extras. First I got these baby blue and gold hangers. I got a 25 pack for $9.99. I have these in black and silver, but I thought these would be cute in the laundry room. I got the shower curtain to switch out the other one whenever I'm washing it or if I just want a little bit of a change. We got this Dutch oven. I have giant pans or I have tiny pans, so I needed one right in the middle so that I didn't have to pull out the big guns every time I cooked something. I grabbed this wood box with a white detailing to put dryer sheets in on the shelf that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got these three bins to organize inside the cabinets. I got this storage shelf to put in the cabinet. I'm not sure which cabinet I'm going to be able to put it in yet, but I got this. It was $5. This under shelf basket was $6.99, but now that it's home, I think it might be too wide for my cabinets, so I'm gonna have to find a place to put this. And the last thing I got was this tray from Hobby Lobby. It's like a marble or granite tray in here and just a metal gold, um, a metal gold lip around it. I saw this about two weeks ago and then I really regretted not grabbing it, so. Here I am currently putting the f a fourth coat of paint on the doors. I'm using this cabinet and furniture paint in the color Snowbound. So the first three coats went on fine, but this fourth coat is not working out. It's getting really gummy and... <laughs> <She's> in... <laughs> that was her birthday present. She's very excited about it. But the fourth coat's getting kind of gummy. I got a new paintbrush last night to see if that will help. So far, it's not working. So I'm going to continue painting. I have these three done. I still need to finish these and then that one right there. I'm going to do some research to see if I can coat these in polycrylic once I'm done. Excuse the uh, laundry going, but... Um, last night I did a coat of this cabinet paint. Um, I did prime it first. I sanded all the wood down and put some um, bullseye primer on here. It's covered better than the doors. I did not prime the doors. You can still see some marks, some brush marks, but this is looking way better. I think two coats on this will work maybe three it's covered way better than the doors because i primed first but i'm gonna go finish painting the doors and hopefully we'll be able to hang these up in just a few days i'm, I'm sick of love songs i'm tired of this and i want to taste straight just like it is you're watching me like you want me but you're still holding I took some 320 grit sandpaper and ran my hands along the doors and felt for brush strokes and dust and then I lightly sanded those spots down. Then I wiped the doors clean and then painted the last coat on them and then I set them to the side and let them dry for 12 hours. I'm out of patience. I'm out of feels, but I guess I'm waiting around for something real. I'm going crazy, like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me.
like it is Bend open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless watching part one of my laundry room makeover video. Part two will be up very soon, so come back for more. Bye!